I think it's the uh, atmosphere. Uh, everything here is big. Nothing is small, it's powerful. It evokes powerful paintings. It couldn't be a wimpy little painting because, uh, and it evokes big. The first time I came out here, my son moved into a new condo uh, on a big beach that overlooks the ocean. And while we were there, the whales went by there were fishing vessels out in front. Well, going along the, the trail at Black Rock, I, for the first time, I went with uh, my daughter-in-law's mother and uh, father, and my son and his uh, wife, and we walked along where the uh, sea tide surges in in the gullies, and I couldn't believe the way that the logs have been washed up on ledges around the beach, around the gully. And they had to be brought in by waves and it was hundreds of feet up there. So the waves had actually smashed the logs up there. You want, I, when I approach a painting, especially these ones, I wanted to make them gutsy. Uh, so I built up a canvas with uh, uh, thick gesso. There's maybe on every canvas, maybe about a quarter of inch of gesso built up. And that would relate to the uh, rhythms that would be eventually in the painting that was going to be done. They all had a yellow surface painted on them that kind of peeked through and changed the color, especially in skies and stuff. But because uh, it had to be bold, there's, uh, Everything is very intense. There are big shifts in lights and darks. Uh, colors are intense. Uh, a lot of colors, like you never see pinks in trees, so a lot of colors are uh, pushed so that the colors are balancing out or are used to make the rhythms in the painting. Especially in the lighthouse, you needed to use color a lot. <laughs> 